Welcome to the JCMS Web Basic Training Video Tutorial Program. In this video, I'll be showing you where to find setup variables and how to change them in JCMS Web. Setup variables store configuration information which JCMS uses at runtime to customize how your instance of JCMS works. By changing the values of these variables, you can exert some control over how your instance of JCMS operates. Let's get started. First, log in as MTS Admin, or if you're an administrator in JCMS Web, log in using your credentials. Click Login. Click the Administration link. In the left navigation, click on Miscellaneous. And then click on JCMS Setup Variables. If this is your first time in this screen, I recommend clicking the Show Descriptions checkbox. Once you click that, there will be a description near each variable that will explain what the variable is about. And this goes for each of the three tabs. I'll run through them quickly with you now. Under the Container tab, you can set your container defaults, cage status, mouse room, set your maximum mice per cage, you can check whether you'd like to use cage names and automatically increment cage IDs. Under cage cards, you can set your detail card note, phone number, lab name. You can set print exited mice and relax restrictions on cage IDs. Under the litter tab, you can choose to select loop litter numbers automatically generate litter numbers and set your maximum auto litter number. And under the mouse tab, you can choose to have your strain name shown first, standard wean time, and you can set your extended wean time, and also your mouse ID prefix. One important note is after you change a default, be sure to click save before moving to the next tab. Clicking Save on each tab is necessary to save your changes. That concludes our training for setup variables. For more information or to post questions, visit our website at colonymanagement.jax.org.